Bone Triangle, and Keller Hicks. Uh, my name is Mark McCoy. I'm the project manager for the city of Fort Worth. Also on the call, just in case uh, you hear some voices in the background, we have Alex Ayala, who is another pro project manager. Raul Lopez, who's our program manager for the city of Fort Worth. Dan McClendon, who will be the contractor on this project, and Joe Bradley, who will be the design, who has been the design engineer and will continue to be. All right, here is the project map. This project is on North Riverside Drive between Golden Triangle and Color Hicks Road. For those of you not familiar with the area, um, there's a commercial, it's a medical office building here towards the south end of the job. It's a storage facility, Met Church, and also there are two schools on Color Hicks east of this map, but uh, that would be Trinity Meadows Intermediate and Trinity Springs Middle Schools, which could potentially be impacted by this project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, the main objective of this project is to widen the two lane roadway on North Riverside between Golden Triangle Boulevard and Keller Hicks Road to a four lane roadway. Uh, Another objective is to improve mobility, to provide a shared bicycle and pedestrian path, and to improve safety at the intersection with Color Hicks Road. Currently, uh, this is the only section of uh, North Riverside that has not been improved to four lanes. So this will complete the widening between Golden Triangle and Timberland Boulevard. And I'll show you uh, what's going on there. Here you see from Keller Hicks down, you can see in the aerial, that's, it's the only section if you ever drive it, you know, that's only two lanes. So here we go. Uh, currently there are significant backups on the southbound lanes of North Riverside at Golden Triangle Boulevard. The current roadway is a two lane undivided section with no turn lanes. Currently, there's no sidewalk along the east side of the riverside. And also, currently, there is not a traffic signal at Color Hicks. Here's a picture of what I was trying to describe the existing conditions. Note that north is left on this drawing, Color Hicks here. And there's a, about a 500 foot section down here in the south end, close to Golden Triangle, that has not been widened to match the rest of the current roadway. Uh, mobility will be improved during this project at Keller Hicks, as I mentioned a minute ago, by adding a signal, adding a signal here. Okay, here's a picture of the proposed improvements in the uh, pink color. You see that we're going to be adding separate northbound travel lanes in the pink, as I mentioned. Here's the existing southbound, not, not colored. Uh, we'll be adding a raised median, and there will also be a new shared bike and pedestrian path on the east side, which is shown in gray here in this area. A new signal will be installed here at Keller Hicks Road, and the signal will be optim op the timing will be optimized for this signal. Um, you can see here, as I mentioned, the uh, southbound, which would be the west side in this exhibit. Um, there's no improvements planned to that roadway. It's basically going to stay like it is, except for the tie-in to Golden Triangle. In the course of this project, also the pedestrian facilities will be approved both at the intersections with new crosswalks, for example, and also the shared bike and pedestrian lane on the east side of uh, North River side, as I mentioned. Uh, 
for those of you who might think like engineers, uh, we included a uh, exhibit of the proposed typical section, which is basically just showing this is looking south. So this is what the existing lanes look like. If you can see my cursor here, and the uh, the left side of the drawing would be the north proposed northbound traffic. You can see it. We're showing this uh, ten foot shared bike pedestrian lane and two new uh, northbound travel lanes and a raised median. <clears throat> okay, some of the uh, objectives of traffic control during construction are to maintain one lane of traffic in each direction and to keep at least one driveway open uh, at every business. Uh, the main, main place that could be impacted is the medical buildings on the east side of the road, which is right here. You can see that uh, the storage facility and the church construction isn't going to really touch the, uh, the southbound lanes, so their driveway should not be impacted. But uh, the medical building here has two new driveways that will be installed. So, but the idea is to keep one of those open at all times, at least one. Okay, so I went over the objectives of uh, the project, but one more time to show how we're going to achieve those objectives is uh, increased capacity, which means increased traffic flow. Uh, by widening, as you come up to those intersections, obviously it's going to increase traffic flow and capacity through the intersection. The new signal at, at Keller Hicks uh, will also help capacity and traffic flow, and the signal timing will be optimized. And uh, additional travel lanes and a dedicated left turn will be added at Golden Triangle on the stuff. Safety will be improved by uh, improving the lane alignment through the intersection at Golden Triangle, improving pedestrian facilities, uh, the crosswalks, and the, uh, also adding the shared bicycle and pedestrian path on the east side. Just a few quick project facts here, uh, cost and schedule related. Uh, the, the construction contract was awarded for $4.1 million. Construction contract was awarded February 8th, just last week. Construction is scheduled to begin sometime in April. And Construction is scheduled to be substantially complete in 480 days, which makes it fall in fall of 2023. For those of you who don't know, the city of Fort Worth has a MyFW app that you can download from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Uh, it's it's just a handy way to communicate with various departments of the city for, for any issues you might have, not specifically for this project, but uh, you know if it's a street light out, if trees need trimmed, whatever. Uh, if you don't have it, consider getting it. It's a very user friendly and uh, worth the effort. And nice way to stay in touch, and the city does look at it, and you will get a response. Uh, that's the end of the uh, prepared part of this presentation. Notice that uh, my contact info is here. Mark McCoy, that's me, project manager. Ben McClendon is also on the call. He's the construction manager for McClendon. And Raj Gupta will be the contact if you have any traffic questions uh, during construction. Okay, now's your chance. If you haven't put your uh, question in the chat, you're welcome to ask a question on camera. Mark, this is Jeff. We have about five questions in chat. Let's run through those first, if you don't mind. 
Sure. Um, since they've been sitting, they've been sitting out there. Um, the first one is: Will there be median cuts at the existing drive entrances, entrances along this section? This is Raul. Can you go back to the proposed improvements um, slide? And good evening. I'm Raul. I'm the program manager that oversees the thoroughfares construction of thoroughfares in Fort Worth. And uh, I'm going to help out Mark here a little bit. So there will be median openings at most of the driveways as distance and safety permits. Um, there will be median openings for the um, the north driveway of the medical facility. Will be median opening for the old storage uh, going northbound. Um, and there will be a meeting opening for the Met Church going northbound as well. What's the next question? Uh, will uh, second question is, will there now be two turn lanes from eastbound Golden Triangle to northbound Riverside? No, this project doesn't address Golden Triangle. This, the focus of this project is basically the uh, widening of the North Superside Drive and that the limits are just north of that divided section of uh, uh, Riverside Drive all the way to Ketter. Um, we can forward that if there is a concern about traffic backing up and eastbound Golden Triangle, uh, the left turn movements, we can forward that to our traffic engineer for evaluation. But this project doesn't address um, Golden Triangle. Uh, David had a follow up question uh, behind that 1, which is, will there be dedicated right turn lane uh, for southbound Riverside onto westbound Golden Triangle? Uh, no, not at this time. We don't have the right away for, for that dedicated right turn. Okay. Um, will there Mark says, will when will North Riverside be completely closed to all traffic? There won't be any traffic. Complete closures. There will always be at least one lane open in each direction. Perfect. Um, we did have another one. Are, are there, is that signal at Keller Hicks not too close to the one already at Timberland? No, it meets the guidelines for quite about a thousand feet. Uh, okay. About a thousand feet south of that signal. That's that's not uncommon. Okay, we have uh, these questions are they're coming in pretty good now. So I've got quite a few more to, to go about or go through. Uh, David also wants to know, will the speed limit on Riverside? Will it be the same or changed once it's open completely? Alex, do it won't change. It's going to be the same. Um, someone would like to go back to the, can you see the layout at the intersection of Golden Triangle again? It's curious if there's room allowed for emergency vehicles to get through like the other directions at the intersection. You're talking from, from south of Golden Triangle going northbound on North Riverside. Is that where we're talking, where my cursor is? Is that? The answer is yes, emergency vehicles will be able to get through. All right. Uh, when do you plan to complete the southbound expansion of North Riverside from 170? That's not that's not program. It's not funded, so that's it's uncertain. Okay. Uh, will the lights be retimed and optimized at Golden Triangle and Riverside once complete? Are we doing any improvements in the signal, um, Alex? Yes, that will be optimized also. Both signals will be. Okay. Uh, almost to the end of the written questions. Um, uh, will the new construction of office buildings just west of North Riverside on Golden Triangle have an entrance exit to North Riverside or just to Golden Triangle? Do we know that? Only, only what's shown on this uh, layout is being provided. So, and that means that if it's if it's in this area, there will not be a driveway from North Riverside. 
All right. Uh, this will be a busy road and intersections for residents north of it when HEB opens at Alliance Town Center. Have we considered that? So if anybody uh, doesn't have the ability to put something on the chat because they, they're actually on the phone, um, Jeff, can you open it up for um, local questions now? Uh, yeah, that's the last, that's the last question. Uh, anyway, we did get a thank you um, in the chat. So if you're on the computer and muted, you can unmute yourself at any time. Uh, if if you're a call-in user and I muted you uh, due to some background noise, you can hit star six and unmute yourself to ask questions. Hey, so this has been great information. Thank you so much. Um, just to follow up to the speed limit question, the speed limit currently on the road, is it 35 or 40 there? I just wanna confirm you said that it will remain the same, right? Well, we're gonna have to look it up and get back to you, but the, the plan is not to increase the speed limit if that's what you're um, Okay, great. That's I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? Go put in chat that the current lead speed limit is 40 on that section. Thank you for that information. This, the speed limit needs to remain unchanged because otherwise it requires an ordinance to change it. So, speed limit will be the same. Uh, one more pop up, Jeff. There's more questions coming up. Will there be any potential utility impact to residents of the villages of Willow Springs? I'm not sure what uh, the question means by utility impact. Will there be any interruption of service? And the answer to that is um, no, I don't think we have any. Do we have water in sewer, Alex, or water? We do, but it's not going to be relocated or anything. As far as the construction of this project is concerned, there shouldn't be any impact to water service. Um, no. And there shouldn't be any impact to uh, electrical service either. Correct. Will this presentation be available to download? Um, if you're interested, Jeff, do we post this? I think we post it in the website, don't we? So uh, it is being recorded and we will post the link to the recording on our YouTube channel as well as the project web page. Um, if, if there's a specific reason you want like the actual PDF of the actual presentation without the context of the discussion, uh, I'm sure we can provide that as well. In person. And we do have one more question in chat that uh, they've seen fi people fishing from the creek is, north of uh, the intersection. This is being recorded, correct? Is there? Yes, it's being recorded. Mark, can you hear me okay? Mark, can you hear me? Okay, I'm not hearing any more questions, so I'm gonna 
think this There's one more. There was one more question in the chat. That was a good question there this evening. about South Bend Lake. And, uh, don't forget if you have any questions that occur to you after we're done. Somehow they're not here to you. So let me answer some of these questions. questions. And yeah, there's, there's more questions. Email. There's more questions coming out. Any other questions you might have? If you'll give me a second, let me let me tell so you. Thank you for attending. Have a good evening. Uh, hang on, Mark. We're not done. Hang on. Can you guys hear me again? I lost audio for a minute. Bunch of questions. Oh, well, I'll, yeah, I'll Mark, can you hear me now? Sorry about that. They're trying to figure out why he could not hear you, but uh, let me address some of these questions. Southbound Riverside has three lanes, dedicated left turn straight and right turn. Why is that changing? I don't believe that Southbound Riverside has three lanes. I think it is two lanes plus the left turn lane. Presently goes from two lanes and breaks into three uh, just prior to Golden Triangle's intersection. So there is a right, middle, and left all dedicated lanes. So, Alex and Mark, can you hear me? I don't think Mark can hear me. I don't believe that would be changing. Well, can you guys hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I, rec I reconnected. Um, to go back to that previous question, uh, the video is recorded. It'll be posted on our YouTube channel as well as the um, project page for the website where we do our monthly updates uh, once construction begins. Uh, if for some reason somebody needs a PDF version of the presentation that doesn't include all the audio we recorded, uh, I'm sure we could provide that as well. So going back, <clears throat> excuse me, going back to the question about southbound has three lanes dedicated left turn, trade right turn lane. Why is that changing? Alex? So there's going to be, there's going to be two through lanes and there's going to be a left turn lane. And we, we are not providing a right an exclusive right turn because there's not enough right away. The the amount of right turns there, um, it's not considerable. So we, you know, uh, the through the outside through lane will provide the ability for for right turn lanes. Is it is going to be interesting getting from 170 to Bowling Triangle with this construction out of East 170 being removed soon. Yeah, I believe the 170 is removing the red crossover out of East. Yeah, we can talk that a uh, can I follow up one more question. Yeah, let, uh, if I can just address Misty's run question, the left through lane will back will back up travel immensely. We we did a traffic study and we simulate the traffic movement, and that did not reveal to be a, a significant uh, movement. So operation was was deemed uh, acceptable. Level of service was deemed acceptable. So, yes, we can uh, take questions uh, on the phone now. No, mine was just in regard to a traffic study it had been done so that you'd answer that question just now. Thank you. Okay.
we apologize. Somehow Mark and Alex lost their uh, audio, so they couldn't hear us, obviously. We just got our audio back, Raul. Oh, they did. Okay. Just in time for, to make me sound wrong, like I'm wrong. Not either. Okay. Any, um online or phone have any questions? Any additional questions? On Golden Triangle heading west, will the right turn lane onto North Riverside remain as it is now? Or will that be reconfigured? <laughs> That right turn lane is going to remain the way it is. Today. It's going to be uh, a dual through and a, and a right. But as time progresses through this inner, be keeping an eye to see if, what type of improvements may need to be in the future. Right now, we're solely just just concentrating on the intersection and see what kind of improvements at that intersection come with. With with that whitening. <laughs> Look at this bit. Well, if there are no any other questions, we appreciate everybody's attendance. And uh, what look out for electronic message boards, which will let you know when the actual construction is going to start in April. We'll post electronic message boards to let you know uh, when construction will start. Thank you very much, and have a good evening. <laughs>